by Michael Smith China's annual economic growth beat official forecasts to come in at 6.9% last year, despite a pollution crackdown and a cooling property sector. However, efforts by Beijing to clean up the fake reporting of provincial economic data have cast a shadow over the official figures. Full-year GDP data released on Thursday showed China's economy grew by 6.9% for the year, an improvement on 6.7% a year earlier and the first acceleration in the annual rate of growth since 2010. The annual growth rate for the fourth quarter GDP was 6.8%, higher than the 6.7% economists had predicted. This was in line with the 6.8% recorded in the third quarter but a moderation from the first two quarters of the year when growth was at 6.9%. That slowdown was expected as factories were shut down to clean up Beijing's skies and as the central government's focus increasingly shifts away from unbridled growth to managing financial risk. The official data was in line with Chinese Premier Li Keqiang's bullish forecast last week for a 6.9% increase. Many economists were skeptical of his assessment of the economy and were predicting a 6.8% annual increase. They have now been proved wrong, although many doubt the official figures. The admission by a number of provincial governments over the past fortnight that they had faked official data confirms what has been a long-running practice in China. However, it means skepticism around the headline numbers will be more prevalent than usual. We don't really think official GDP is a good indicator of the health of the economy, but it is clear from a range of indicators that the economy did much better last year than the year before, Julian Evans preached, senior China economist for Capital Economics told the Australian Financial Review. The official figures never fully reflected the downturn in 2014 and 2015 and they do not reflect the scale of the recovery. The official growth rate has been very stable, implausibly stable, he said, adding 6% was a more realistic estimate of China's real economic growth last year compared to 5.1% in 2016. Beijing's focus on managing financial risk means provincial government officials are not as incentivized to fabricate economic growth statistics in order to achieve a promotion as they used to be. Over the past fortnight, the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region admitted its data for added value of industrial enterprises of a certain scale were inflated 40% in 2016. Tianjin, a major city in China's north, said its booming Binhai financial district had included commercial activity only registered there for tax purposes in its GDP. Economists say this could could result in a 20% drop in reported GDP. The admissions followed last year's admission from China's Rust Belt province of Liaoning, that it had faked its economic data from 2011 to 2014. Economic data is also sometimes massaged by authorities to account for discrepancies rather than a deliberate attempt at falsifying information. Economists believe the 2017 data is more reliable than in previous years when there was more emphasis on growth but that makes it hard assessing year-in-year comparisons. Still, the annual data provides an insight into how consumer demand from the world's second-largest economy is changing. ANZ economists said the growth in the size of China's GDP in 2017 was about the size of the entire Canadian economy. China's aging population, poor air quality, increased wealth and changed diet were mostly responsible for the surge in demand for health and pharmaceutical products. China's vehicle sales increased by 3% in 2017 to 28.9 million, according to statistics released earlier Thursday, moderating from 13.7% in 2016. Retail sales for the year grew at 10.2% when adjusted for inflation, higher than the 9.6% last year. Retail sales slowed sharply in the December quarter to 9.4%. Other data released on Thursday showed fixed asset investment construction grew 7.2% for the 2017 year. This was 0.9 percentage points lower than last year which economists said was the lowest since 1999 as infrastructure investment slows. China's industrial capacity utilization amounted to 77% for the year, the highest level in five years. China's economy is changing from continuous slower growth to a small uptick last year. Still, there are difficulties for China managing very strong growth in investment and consumption. We can see the infrastructure investment growth is not as strong as before, Bank of Communications chief economist Lian Ping said by telephone. Economists are also increasingly worried about the potential impact of a trade war with the United States. Exports will be further improved this year but there will pressure from the U.S., Mr. Lian said. 
There will be some trade friction but not an overall trade war. He expects China's GDP growth in 2018 to dip to 6.7 percent. Figures out last week showed China's imports from Australia increased by 37.2 percent to 642.9 billion yuan $125.4 billion last year, while China's exports to Australia rose 13.9 percent to 280.6 billion yuan $54.7 billion. Total bilateral trade increased 29.1% to 923.4 billion yuan $180.1 billion.